Whilst in London in 2021 investigating with the doctor for evidence of xenotech, alien technology being used on humans, which was in fact cyber technology, she met Hex, a nurse working at St. Gart's Bankside Hospital. Following their adventure, she convinced him to join her and the doctor, taking him under her wing. Her travels with the doctor being joined by Hex was yet another one of the potential timelines shown to Ace on the Wraith homeworld. They landed on Uluru whilst it was traveling through space. She saw people who had turned it stone and didn't expect to see Uluru in space. She was knocked unconscious after they met Juan and Mulian in a car crash. After she recovered she met the Galliari. She was determined to get the doctor out of the dreaming. She went into the mines with Vrisha and Korshal. She was then accosted by a dreamtime version of the doctor and made to drown. The doctor, Hex and Ace landed on Colony 34 where she helped the doctor run for president. During the election campaign, she was known as the Rebel Queen and showed Ryan Waring that there was poverty on Colony 34. She told Waring that a prisoner told her the corruption on the planet. She spotted that people were being culled. She was a fugitive and was arrested. After Jaeger was re-elected she was drugged and made to confess but she managed to shout the truth. She then revealed that Jaeger was using dead bodies as a fuel source, then killed immigrants and the incarcerated when the dead ran out. The TARDIS crew landed on the Isabella only to discover it empty. Ace tried to resist being arrested. Anna confided in her about her situation on board posing as a boy. Ace tried to find a location to have a holiday with Hex and the doctor after their recent adventure but something went haywire. She became agitated in a house in Norfolk that had been abandoned. She searched for clues with Hex before they had an argument. She found an analog answering machine in such a technologically advanced house. She then started to think the house was after them. As Ace and Hex were dying of carbon monoxide poisoning, they discovered that George Colbert had murdered the house's original inhabitants for the land they had. The TARDIS materialized in a wood, where Ace accidentally fell into a lake. Taking her to a nearby cabin, the doctor discovered a series of murders and that the people there were experimenting with time. Ten years earlier, a girl had been killed as a result of a misdiagnosis and the scientists were trying to send a message back to warn their past selves. This interference with the timeline caused the girl to become alive again in a state of zombie-like limbo. To correct their mistake, the doctor traveled back and undid the damage. The doctor and his companions went for breakfast on London's South Bank but soon discovered that both London and the TARDIS weren't real. Voyaging through the depths of the fake TARDIS, the doctor found he and his companions had been entrapped by a vortex predator. They eventually located the real TARDIS and escaped back into the real universe. The doctor sent Ace and Hex to Monte Carlo in 1969 to recover the veiled leopard diamond. She helped Hex to learn the skills of identifying the place they had landed in and to observe when they landed in Drogheda. She promised the doctor that she would look after Hex but then she started fighting and was there when Kieran Fitzgerald. She initially thought that Hex might have been killed in the battle. She then helped Mary Fitzgerald when they went to Wexford and piloted the TARDIS. She then went looking for James Fitzgerald before the doctor ordered her to get obstetric forceps. When Hex was ordered to be executed she tried to stop it. On landing in the First World War, they were caught in a blast and taken to Charnage Hospital. She tried to convince Hex that even though they were in the Great War they shouldn't interfere in ways to stop it. Private Taylor tried to attack her and the doctor with a bayonet. She then helped the doctor in his investigations and started interviewing the soldiers in the hospital, and listened to Dudgeon's story about the Battle of Mons and seeing the angels. Hex and Ace went to the church in no man's land and found Dixon alive. She realized that Brooke had made the platoon attack themselves. After the doctor stopped Brooke she thought that Taylor could make a good career as a forge artist. She thought something was up when the doctor piloted the TARDIS to Paris in 1922. She became concerned when Kevin Archer started acting strangely. She aggravated Panda upon meeting him. She then helped in the doctor's investigation of Iris' wild time. She helped Iris to destroy Dora Muse's body, and grew worried when Iris, Kevin and Panda fell into the river. When they landed on Nocturne, she started to complain about the lack of information that the doctor gives on arriving on a new planet, which Hex agreed with. After the murder of one of the doctor's old friends, 
she was sent to look after Will Alloran as the doctor thought his brother Lomas Alloran was involved. He then told her about the war and his experiences. She became distraught after Will committed suicide. After escaping from a snot monster, the doctor, Hex and Ace landed on Tuin, for a twin moon festival. She got interested when she heard of the spas available on the planet. Soon after, Ace and Hex were attacked by Ori and she went looking for the doctor. She realized that the doctor only took them there to end the war. She was taken by Irrit to learn the ways of the IR before the doctor's wedding. She then saved the doctor from being burnt at the stake and became the shining wife. In the marriage ceremony, they were attracted to the center of the planet and discovered that the planet was sentient. After the wedding, Tuin got her to try and kill Hex, and latter Ori and Irrit. Reunited with the doctor, the trio arrived in Egypt in 1902 where they met a young time lady named Jane Templeton who had been stranded for centuries on Earth trying to find her TARDIS and who had accidentally transgressed the laws of time by becoming a god to the locals. Ace was transported into the future with Jane where Jane located her TARDIS. The doctor informed Jane that her TARDIS was dying, prompting her to fly it into the sun, rejecting the doctor's offer to save her life. The doctor, Ace and Hex traveled to the island of Mendelovania in 33 AD to help solve a code, but fell into a trap laid by the Order of Simplicity. She realized that the machine Varyman was using could broadcast a signal to augment brains. She got mad when Varyman infected the doctor with the stupefying virus. The TARDIS crew attempted to track down an alien artifact that controlled others into telling the truth. While the doctor and Hex followed Joey Carlyle, the person who had stolen the artifact from the forge, Ace encountered a child version of her mother. Whilst the doctor roamed the streets, Ace conversed with May Carlyle before Merchant arrived for the technology. The doctor, Ace and Hex encountered a being from a dimension made out of language and communication, nobody no one, a word lord. This being followed them into a top secret facility and proceeded to cause chaos until the doctor captured him inside a book only for him to escape again. Ace was bored on the TARDIS and found the planet Unity in the Destination Finder and wanted to go there. She learned that there was a medical facility which allowed people to face their shadow selves and resolve their issues. On Unity, she encountered her shadow self, who told her that she was being ignored normally because she went around blowing things up. When the world started falling apart, she went with the Doctor and Malcolm Grove to the core, and had to make an emergency landing on Nirvana. She went to explore with Hex but later went mountaineering with the doctor. They discovered a dead body in one of the caves. Running back to the TARDIS after discovering what the planet truly was, she braved the storm to find Hex. The TARDIS dematerialized leaving Ace and Hex stranded on the planet. They spent their time locating food and shelter to survive whilst waiting for the doctor. In one of her dreams, Ace received a message from the doctor. When they were chased by a set of sea monsters, the doctor managed to rescue them. She said that she would not forgive the doctor for how he treated Hex. Ace and her friend were lured into the celestial toy room but managed to defeat the celestial toy maker but to stop him resurfacing the doctor placed her and Hex in charge of looking after the doctor at a sanatorium in Switzerland, in 1926. As part of the plan, she and Hex stayed in the attic and manipulated events. She tried to convince Hex that manipulating the doctor was for his own good. When there was a talent contest she was its compare. She tried to stop Queenie Glasscock from leaving the sanatorium but failed when Queenie used a Molotov cocktail on the painted sky. She worked out how to defeat the toymaker just before the doctor had defeated him again. The doctor, Ace and Hex landed on Bliss, a jungle planet under Dalek attack. While Ace and Hex helped in the battle with the Daleks, the doctor discovered that a local professor had combined larva and piranha locust DNA to create a new species known as the Kisabia. The Kisabia fed on metal and were created to save mankind from the Daleks, but quickly became uncontrollable, decimating the Dalek forces easily. The doctor planned to blow up the station and slaughter this new species, but Beth Stokes, a former prisoner of the Daleks, chose to stay behind to finish the job instead. They traveled to Skatari in 1854 in order to cheer Hex up by visiting his idol, Florence Nightingale. The doctor and Ace left Hex with her and traveled back a month earlier to find out why the doctor was known in that time. Landing in Sevastopol, she was hurt by falling debris and the exterior of the TARDIS turned white after the HADS was activated by cannon fire. 
She then spent her time recuperating with Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy who she later persuaded to let her escape. She decided to go to St. Petersburg to find the doctor and met him halfway. When the doctor hugged her it allowed the TARDIS to reappear. They both rushed to find Hex but found him after he was shot by Bartholomew Kitchen. This wound was proving to be fatal, so the doctor and Ace returned him to Earth in 2025. She helped the doctor save him by bringing him to St. Gart's Hospital. Here she met Lysandra Aristides in the forge when they tracked her and the doctor's life signs. After seeing Helen transform into a mutation she helped Lysandra with her work, joining her on missions. She got aggravated when the forge killed humans before they mutated. She was disgusted when Lysandra and Jared were ordered to kill the infected humans. When Hex was rebelling against the doctor, Ace shot the doctor to defuse the situation. Seeking out a time lord sarcophagus stored in the forge vault, Ace and the doctor, now without Hex, discovered that it contained a future version of the seventh doctor himself, who was unable to prevent the present doctor from being killed. Combating nobody no one once again, Ace spent a period living in England with Henry no one, but eventually realized that the future doctor had set up events to occur just as they had, enabling her to resurrect the doctor. The trio were reunited, and together they defeated the word lord once and for all. Forgiving the doctor, Hex resumed his TARDIS travels. Shortly afterwards, the TARDIS landed in 1930s Alaska, with the doctor intending to investigate a strange ice formation. They ran into an expedition who were looking for the same thing. Whilst exploring Ace fell down a crevasse, and she had to be rescued by the doctor. She later found her way into the psychiatric institute C.P. Doveday was at. She spent time with Doveday and learnt more about him. He later told her to leave him for a while after he had a fit. She witnessed Doveday becoming more influenced by the Karnasakoi. Discovering that the doctor had gone missing, Ace and Hex seemingly managed to pilot the TARDIS to England, 1989. After landing Ace realized something was wrong when Albert Marsden was creating a fallout shelter. Peggy Marsden told her how a nuclear war was imminent. Realizing that they were stuck in a time loop, the pair were unable to prevent a pair of elder gods from escaping, but managed to pass the test the doctor had left behind for the gods and summoned what seemed to be a black painted TARDIS to retrieve them. Upon entering the black TARDIS, however, they discovered Sally Morgan and Lysandra Aristides already there. Upon discovering this, they realized that the doctor was traveling in two separate TARDISes, simultaneously. While Hex and Sally piloted the white TARDIS, Ace and Lysandra brought the black TARDIS to 5th century Denmark, where they met Beowulf and faced an alien called Garendal. They discovered that the doctor was previously in this location, but had been kidnapped by an unknown enemy. She started to respect Lysandra on this mission. After following the doctor's clues and instructions, they retrieved an artifact called Wayland's Shield, restored the original TARDIS and destroyed the black one before setting off on their way to locate the doctor. The TARDIS crew arrived in a pocket universe which was under the control of Fenric. After releasing the doctor, it was revealed that Fenric was playing a game against another elder god called Fenric for control of Wayland's Shield, which could grant omnipotence to an elder god. Ace met with Hermzid who came from a timeline where his father used anthrax which had been given to him by Wayland. She realized that when he was given a talisman which could call a time storm that they had more in common. She was chased by hemivores. Fenric sent her back to Perivale in 1987 on the day she left, hoping to persuade her out of going through the original time storm, but Ace escaped. She later helped to fight off the hemivores and then went after Lysandra and Sally. When Ace and the Doctor were in Wayland Smithy she stole one of his tanks. It was also discovered that the TARDIS crew had been pawns of Wayland, used to help him win the game against Fenric, and Hex was destined to become the quintessential pawn in Wayland's plan, who prevented his death after being shot in Skatari. However, Hex managed to banish Wayland, and stop the game but became possessed by Fenric. Hex sacrificed himself to prevent Fenric from permanently taking control and gaining power, saving the Doctor, Ace, Sally and Lysandra. Ace was still distraught for the time it took the Doctor to return Sally and Lysandra back to their respective times and places. The Doctor admitted to her that all he ever had known was dead and that's why he wasn't reacting like she was. She went to Hex's room and saw that the TARDIS was archiving his room, and found a letter to Hex's grandmother, written soon after he first traveled. 
she then forced him to tell Hex's grandmother of his death. Upon landing in Liverpool, she helped Lily Finnegan fight against a group of hooligans. When a rival gang appeared, she found Hex, who had become a gangster in Liverpool, living as Hector Thomas. She then went to his house and ended up kissing him. She took Hector to Hex's wake. After discovering that Hex had survived as an incorporeal being who had been returned to Earth without his memories, Ace forced the doctor to give her a chance to help him regain them. She started to have an intimate relationship with Hector, but still hoped that Hex's memories would return. After Hector piloted the TARDIS to Titan, she started to get concerned especially when the doctor told her about the swarm. She caught Saturnian plague. She was taken to the Bial Foundation for treatment and was cured. After the swarm took them to the 52nd century, she managed to stop the doctor from being squashed when a bulkhead closed. She went with the doctor into the hypernet. Talon helped their progress by first giving them a pair of bikes then ace a gun. Whilst the doctor was creating an antivirus program she was piloting a ship full of methane towards the planet-sized nucleus and was rescued by the doctor before it blew up. The doctor took them to ancient Athens to help Hector recover. When Ace tried to release some slaves she was taken to see Cleon, who then banished her from the city. She was happy that Udonia was a soldier and she liked being a Spartan. She used her Nitro-9 to blow up the gates of Athens to let the Spartans in, which she regretted. She tried to stop Cleon from burning down the city but she couldn't and she had to be rescued by Tyrgius. In possible timeline, Ace never left the doctor. She tried to persuade Hector not to leave but failed. She later found Sally at the local train station and started to fight. They were stopped by Janet Green before it went too far. She and Sally were then taken to the army ship off the coast and helped to stop the Hiradine. She thought that Janet was dead but Ace saw her revive. Ginny then gave Hex his memories back. She didn't want Hex to sacrifice himself again. She helped him remember himself.